What's up guys? Welcome back to the Auto Shop Life. So, you guys can see in the thumbnail, we did it. Let's all take a moment of silence. We finally finished the socket drawer. Finally. I told myself when we started this months and months back, you know, a couple things I need to say. I mean, I, I know, you know, if you guys are looking to organize your socket drawer, I mean, you want it done, you know, one and done, it's going to take time, it's going to take dedication, it's going to take money, you know, between what organization you're going to pick, you know, what you're going to choose to go with, what great company, you know, what you really want, the ultimate goal of what you want for that drawer. But you guys been with me on the channel, you guys seen some of the stuff we've had to go through on it, but finally finished it. Just wanted to take a moment of silence, get this intro in, and head on out there, show you guys how it turned out. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. guys so as we head on over to the box I mean the amount of time I've spent in front of this drawer you know I probably could have I probably could have if I was getting paid for it I probably could retire by now but like I said you guys see in the beginning of the video you know just some of the boxes it took you know some of the some of the sockets I've had to buy through snap-on you know to get this drawer where I wanted it to get it right the first time, like I've stressed in the videos, you know, a lot of sockets I replaced. There was a lot of sockets in there that were broken sets, you know, maybe ones in there that were, you know, broken or cracked or lost, you know, that sets that I didn't want anymore. I didn't want half sets in there anymore. I didn't want sets in there that were, you know, some snap on, some husky, some craftsman what you know whatever i had in there i obviously had some taiwan in there i had some uh harbor freight sockets in there you know i wanted pretty much not to say all snap-on sockets in there but i wanted complete sets you know and i not only wanted complete sets but i wanted those sets you know to have a specific home you guys have seen it you know there's there's lots of ways to, there's lots of great companies out there for toolbox organization i mean i give it that you know that was a hard decision in itself just to pick you know, not necessarily one company, because I don't think for a socket drawer, there's not going to be, you know, one size fits all. You know, you got, you know, they got the, they got different types. They got the, you know, the grid system, all that stuff, you know, but for, I wanted a drawer that was only sockets. I didn't want to put ratchets in there. I didn't want to put extensions in there. You know, I didn't even want to put bit sockets in there. I wanted just sockets, you know, whether they were regular sockets or, you know, O2 sensor sockets. It, what have you anything socket related is what I wanted in the drawer six point twelve point half inch drive three inch drive quarter inch drive I wanted one drawer for it all I wanted to try to fit it in this 64 inch drawer you know obviously the epic I think is 84 all the way but the drawer is only about 64 inches or so I want to say it goes like 24 inches back or whatever and then the drawers I don't know that top drawer is probably four inches deep or whatever but you know I wanted to make sure the taller sockets fit I wanted to make sure the organization system that I use, obviously you guys know I went mostly with the Hanson style trays. You guys can see some of the runoff trays up at the top of the box there. Probably doing giveaways on those, so you guys stay tuned, be looking out for that. But I wanted a drawer to be what I wanted it to be. I did not know it was gonna take that amount of time. I did not, I mean, just the finances alone, the money it costs to get the socket drawer where I needed to, that was another reason why it took so long. You know, obviously I don't wanna spend you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on some sockets that I probably weren't gonna use. You know, obviously the broken, the broken socket sets, you know, there's some in those sets on those hands and style trays. You guys seen it in my RAN video. Sockets you're not gonna use. I mean, you know, probably out of the sets they have, there's probably out of the tray, there's probably gonna be a good six sockets that, you know, me personally wouldn't use maybe out of that particular set. You know, whether it's gonna be because I'm not using that drive, I'm not using half inch drive, you know, as when it comes to the smaller sockets, obviously I'm gonna switch it over to a three eighths drive or vice versa, I'm gonna switch it over to a quarter inch drive. So there's some of those sockets on those trays that you'd rather use either a different drive or there's just really nothing out there you could use it on. I could think of some off the top, obviously a 20 millimeter socket, 
maybe I'll use that on a rusted up 19 millimeter socket, you know, on some of those lug nuts where they rust up and the bolt swells, slap a 20 on there and there you go. But get down, get, show you guys this drawer, the moment of truth here. I'm proud of it. I think it turned out pretty good. I still have a couple sockets on order on it. I still have very slight room to grow, um, but that's what the other drawer is for. You know, I'm probably going to, some of the runoff sockets are going to carry over to the 60 inch and kind of use that drawer as, you know, like a catch all, extra sockets, you know, maybe my beat up sockets. I did obviously take a lot of sockets home. I did get rid of a lot of sockets. I'll probably be giving away some sockets. Also, you guys seen at the beginning of the video all those stock snap on trays. You guys made it this far in the video, which I'm sure you have, hopefully you have. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, but I'll be giving those stock trays away. So if you guys want, hit me up, direct message me on my Instagram or whatever you guys are interested in these. I pretty much, I don't need them, I don't want them, but I'm holding on to them for the guys out there that does use them. So without further ado, we're going to get you guys set up, get this drawer open and show you guys how it turned out. Check it out. All right, guys. So drum roll, moment of truth. The top drawer here. This is, uh, if you're looking for me, this is where you'd be able to find me the last three or four months, probably five or six months, really. But there it is. That's how she turned out looking like. I got all the impact, six point impact snap on sockets on this side here on the three roll trays that were obviously sponsored to me through my snap on guy. Switch it over to the chrome, dual socket trays, you know, the double, deep and uh, short. You got the half inch, three eighths, and then quarter inch up top there. Got some 12 points up there. In the back there, I got you know some of my uh, older sockets there that I wanted to keep. Those are metrics. And then switches over to the chrome 12 point full set that I got, um, half inch and three quarter drive. You know, all the way down to this uh, two inch, two and something inch socket, two and three eighths socket that I've used. Obviously, all these sockets I have because I've used them some more than others. <clears throat> and then getting over to this side, you got all the bigger size sockets and axle sockets and all that stuff. That's half inch drive, three quarter drive with the adapter. I even got some sockets behind it, ones that I you know don't use too much, but I can still get to them if I had to. You got the universal sockets here, three eighths half inch. And then on this one, here's my what I was talking about: room to grow. Um, Got these on order it's not a complete set and that's ha that was half the battle with this guys i mean you know getting these sets filling up these trays you know especially i don't know most manufacturers but getting them through snap-on you know you'd buy a set and you know like i have said it, it would be missing you know half the tray half the trays worth you know hey got this tray here they don't even make a 26 luckily i was able to score i think the 22 in this set they don't sell it in the set but they sell it singly and then you know this kind of bothers me the 8 through 14 or 10 through 14 in uh mid they don't even have in, in, in a quarter inch or in half inch so but that's where i'm at so far some of these other random bits here on the 12 point side this is 12 point on this side these socket trays were sponsored by olsa you know great tool organization company uh, i'm actually going to be reviewing some wrenches of those so stay tuned on the channel but you know the, even this set missing a 20 like i said in the video i could find uses for a 20 i'd like to have it if it's there and then the two end ones here the 25 and 27 they give you the 30 and 32 so i just put them in there but most of them for the most part are all filled in not too bad some of my older 12 points i still use you know on those tire locks this little uh, 12 point craftsman set, you know, I'd like to uh, over time get the six, seven, eight, and nine. I know they have it because I have it for another tray and then the 20 over here. But for the most part, turned out pretty nice. You know, I dig it. Definitely, uh, you know, got a spot for everything, got a home for everything. You know, you'd be able to tell if there's one missing. Obviously, you could see there's one missing, and that's the thing. You know, having a home for your sockets, being able to keep track of them, staying organized. You know, definitely utilize this drawer as much as I possibly can, but you know, it's a big drawer. It's a, definitely a heavy drawer. I know, I know this thing all the way pulled out. It's definitely causing some uh, stress on these, you know, these ball bearing tracks here, but luckily there's two of them, four, you know, two on each side, but there it is. That's the way it turned out. And then I could also switch it out in the future, you know, this red, I don't know, it's kind of bothering me. I'd like to have maybe a black tray or keep it green style on this side. So I might be switching these, this Harbor Freight tray out. I got this one from Harbor Freight and then the quarter inch from Harbor Freight, the extra set impacts I got here. I'll probably be switching out the trays, but that's exactly what I wanted to go for. You know, something that 
you know, you be able to find the socket you're needing. Everything is kind of indexed in there. You'd be able to, you know, you're looking for a socket. You kind of know exactly where, where it's at. You know, muscle memory takes over after a while. Uh, I'm still getting used to it now. Just kind of finished it a few days ago. But, you know, and then these sockets back here, the older 12-point Pittsburghs I got, I use for the diesels. I'd like to get like a magnetic tray underneath here to kind of put them so they have a spot. They don't tip over if the drawer ends up getting slammed or whatever, a little rough with the drawer. But... That's it guys, took me forever, but finally pretty much done. And then like I had said about this other drawer over here, I got some of the runoff sockets, sockets that I'm still kind of going through. You know, I got a box of sockets and some of the old organization stuff up there in those two boxes, but there's where the mag rails came into play. You know, some of the bit sockets I got, the long bits, the Torx, the triple squares, all that stuff. And then some of the extra sockets back here that I'm still kind of going through. You know, I like these chrome impacts for those wheel locks. The customer loses the wheel locks, things like that. You know, 12 points always come in handy. And then these couple quarter inches. And then, you know, the, the USA Craftsman set that I just don't want to get rid of. I'll probably end up taking that home. But that's what this one's looking like now, too. Cleaning up this drawer next. Slowly going through the drawers. So... guys so getting back up here in the office because it's freaking hot out in the shop wrapping this one out but that's it I don't know if it's what you guys expected you know it's definitely uh, definitely what I pictured you know I'm glad I I'm glad I spent the extra money I'm glad I you know waited the extra time and you know did the extra research as far as toolbox and socket organization goes you know I'm definitely happy with it I'm definitely you know it's definitely gonna get the job done for me will I change it up again in the future you know, I said that the last time. No, yes, you know, it don't really matter. If something comes along better and I got the time and the funds to do it, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm always, this industry, we're forever changing, we're forever advancing, and, you know, getting these cars done the fastest way you can, especially working on flat rate or just being productive in general, you know, the tools are a big thing. Organization is a big thing to me, and, uh, you know, I like to have some of the best and definitely be able to find the tool I need when I need it. So, as you guys seen though, the stock socket trays, you guys let me know. Those snap-on socket trays, you guys hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. You guys are looking into them. I know a few guys out there, you know, pretty interested in them. I got a lot of them. So you guys, you know, work some. I don't need them. You guys maybe pay the shipping, whatever. Get those off to you. Plus, at the end of all this, definitely going to have a bunch of extra sockets. For you guys, beginner techs out there and all that stuff, you guys need sockets. That's what this channel is all about. Helping techs, pay it forward to the next man. All the above. But as always, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.